Hi everyone, it's Agnieszka Meladok from 5 Minute Language. Welcome to my channel, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. So today's video is about whether it's a good idea to learn several languages at the same time. I've already written a blog post about how to learn and maintain multiple languages at the same time and I've got a video about how to learn two languages at the same time. So I'm going to link them in the description, make sure you check them out. But this video is a little bit different. I'm going to talk about whether or not it's a good idea to actually learn more than one foreign language at the same time. So I'm not going to give you a straightforward answer, I'm going to discuss the sort of pros and cons of doing that um, and hopefully you can arrive at your own conclusions. And I'm also going to give you obviously my own opinion on the topic. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to start with uh, the reasons why you should learn multiple languages at the same time. So that is actually true if you're learning similar languages uh, because you can learn them more efficiently. And by similar I mean languages which share vocabulary, which share the same kind of grammar structures or syntax. Uh, so I'm talking languages like French and Spanish for example, or Spanish and Italian. Um, those languages share a lot of um, common vocabulary, so you can learn them, learn them more efficiently because it's easier to remember the words once you learn them in one language, they kind of translate into the other language. And the same thing goes for grammar structures or syntax or, or different type of similarities in, um, in the language. So you can learn them more efficiently if you're learning two or more similar languages at the same time. Another reason why it's uh, a good idea to learn several languages at the same time is uh, if you've got the kind of personality where you're bored by repetition or if you're put off because you want to do um, different things at the same time rather than just committing to one thing. So I personally am the kind of person who gets bored by doing just one thing. I like to get involved in uh, different projects at the same time, I like learning different things at the same time. Um, so if you've got that kind of personality, uh, you are probably more likely to uh, give up or, or not sort of stay committed and motivated when you're just doing one language. So if you're learning more than one language, you can obviously be a little bit more motivated, um, a little bit more committed, and you also get um, double the satisfaction if you're learning two languages as opposed to one because you know you can achieve something in French and something in German um, at the same time in one week so you get double the amount of uh, reward and satisfaction from that. So the third reason why it's a good idea to learn more than one language at the same time is when you have to uh, learn more languages rather than if you want to. Uh, so for example, if you know that you're going um, to start a new job and you will be working with um, clients from two different language backgrounds and you will need those two languages, then obviously it's a good idea to learn both at the same time because you will be able to reach that kind of conversational level more quickly. So now, why is it not a good idea to learn uh, multiple languages at the same time? Well, the most obvious one is because you will need to divide your time. You will need to find the time to learn one language and then another language and then possibly another language. Um, and obviously it will take you longer to reach um, your goals. And then the second one, which is also quite obvious, but it's a very important one, uh, it is possible to get confused and it's actually uh, likely that you will get confused. So if you read my blog post about how to learn multiple languages at the same time, um, you will see that I cover different techniques or methods that you can use to avoid that confusion and to make sure that you keep the languages separate. So there are different things you can do to kind of separate the languages in your head so that you don't get confused. But you know, those techniques, they won't um, work for every single learner. So um, sometimes you will basically find that you're getting confused, that you're not able to focus on learning as well as you could. So the main kind of question to ask yourself when you're trying to decide whether it's a good idea to learn more than one foreign language at the same time is would I rather be average at several different things or would I rather be really, really, really good at one thing? Um, and I think that's a very important question. It's something that somebody told me in one of my jobs um, a few years ago when I was not very um, experienced. Um, I was a bit younger and I liked to get involved in lots of different projects at the same time. Uh, and that person, um, that colleague basically told me, uh, what would you what would you prefer? Would you rather complete lots of different projects um, 
and all of them being quite average or would you rather complete one um, and it being really, really, really good. Um, and that kind of made me think uh, and since then I've been trying to apply this approach to everything I do and especially more recently because I've been pretty busy, um, I found it really useful to really focus on that one thing I'm doing, one project I'm working on or one language I'm learning um, and devote all of my energy to that. So my personal opinion is you know, you should focus on that one thing if you really want to get good at it. Um, if you don't mind being, you know, average, um, knowing a little bit of this and a little bit of that, then that's fine. Uh, but ultimately, whether or not you choose to learn several languages is your own um, choice and it depends on your own personality, your own learning style. Um, and you know, whatever works for you, that's that's the right choice to make. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for watching. Bye.